There's been a major shakeup at the White House. Reince Priebus is out as chief of staff. He is being replaced by the Secretary of Homeland Security. President Trump announced this in a tweet saying, I am pleased to inform you that I have just named General Secretary John F. Kelly as White House chief of staff. He is a great American. Major Garrett is at the White House with more. Major, what's happened here? And no thank you from the president to Reince Priebus, his long embattled chief of staff. Anthony, there have been many turbulent weeks at the Trump White House. This by far the most turbulent of them all, capped off with the ousting of a chief of staff and a slow-moving, highly aggressive, and very public power play, not only between Rice Priebus, but the newly minted communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, brought in by President Trump in direct defiance of the wishes of his chief of staff, Reince Priebus, and others associated with the Priebus wing of the Trump administration within, within this very own White House. And it's worth pointing out that in the last month or two, Anthony, the centrality of Reince Priebus as chief of staff had been gradually diminishing, less and less important in the day-to-day -day scheduling of the president and day-to-day -day agenda setting for the future of his administration. And with this early morning culmination of the defeat of the effort in the Senate to repeal and replace Obamacare, Reince Priebus, who was brought in as chief of staff in part because of his relationships on Capitol Hill with Republicans, not only exits in the ignominy of the president, but also in the face of a conspicuous legislative defeat, not only for him, Reince Priebus, but for the entire Trump administration. It has been one heck of a week here at the White House and ending now with the ousting of a chief of staff. Well, it's not quite over yet, Major. There's another day in this week. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let me bring in John Dickerson, our chief Washington correspondent and an anchor of Face the Nation. John, uh, as Major alluded to there, uh, Reince Priebus's influence seemed to be on the wane for some time. Uh, it ended kind of yesterday with a very public, uh, nasty rebuke from uh, Mr. Scaramucci. Where, do, where does that leave the White House at this point? Well, you know, just to go back a little bit of past history, during the campaign, Reince Priebus and the president, then uh, candidate Trump, had this very tense and strange relationship where basically they were allied, but Reince Priebus knew that the president would throw him overboard uh, the second that it became convenient for him to do so. And that was the tension that was carried then into their relationship into the White House. It has now happened. So what it is, is it's, it's a ratification in part of all the reports of the chaos in the White House. What was striking about Mr. Scaramucci's uh, conversation with the New Yorker's Ryan Lizzo was uh, not just the vulgar language, but that it gave a window into an administration that he uh, was saying was basically out of control and full of people who were interested only in themselves and protecting their turf. And it was an extraordinarily negative performance review of the White House. Well, by firing uh, Reince Priebus, it ratifies that view that the last six months have been chaos out of control. And now how does it get fixed? And that's the big question going forward. All right, John Dickerson in Washington. Thanks. So to repeat, Reince Priebus is out as President Trump's chief of staff. General John Kelly is in. There will be much more about the White House shakeup on your local news on this CBS station, on our 24-hour streaming news network, CBSN, and right here tonight on the CBS Evening News. Till then, with Major Garrett and John Dickerson, I'm Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.